So now we've taken all those measurements. Um, we say, well, that's well and good. So what does that really mean for the turbine? Uh, we'll have an example here to demonstrate. Um, and one of the things that we really want to do is monitor the, um, the bearing health of the turbine. Now, manufacturers tend to stipulate a, um, a replacement period of 25 hours. So every 25 hours of runtime, uh, you'll have to send your turbine uh, to the manufacturer or service agent to get the bearings changed, rebalanced, and then sent back uh, to yourself for flying in the field. Um, so what this graph shows us is um, what's a, uh, a failure um, uh, would look like for a bearing over time. Now this is just an example, this is not the actual you know, value curve of a bearing of your particular engine, it's just to demonstrate um, I guess the theory of, of how a failure occurs for a bearing. And, and failures do vary by the type of bearing, you know, um, and that's because of the lubrication system, the type of bearing you've got, the running speeds, temperatures, it can be quite complex. So with uh, TurboScan, what it does allow you to do is just to keep an eye on the health of the turbine. So what we did is we just plotted um, theoretical points on the curve here, which says that um, when you buy the um, turbine and it's brand new um, from the factory or even straight after service with fresh bearings, you'll find that the vibration levels will be nice and low. You know, the bearings are fresh, it's running fantastically. Um, Every um, few hours of runtime, um, let's say for example, you know, you may have dirt in the fuel or something has happened um, with the bearing, uh, some kind of damage, could be a manufacturing defect, whatever it might be. Um, so what will happen is that the bearing will start to accumulate damage over time and you can imagine that if you got a crack or a scratch on your bearing surface, every time the ball is run over that um, defect, it's just making things worse and worse. And if you continue to operate the, um, the turbine with a defective bearing over time, you're, what you'll find is that the vibration level gets worse and worse because the defect is growing and growing and growing and grows to such a point where um, the cage, outer cage of the bearing might fail, whatever it might be, um, and then the bearing seizes. So we'll have here, um, various stages where you can actually inspect the turbine. So it's very difficult to tell exactly when a bearing will fail. Um, ideally it fails much after 25 hours, and, you know, that'd be great. Otherwise you'd be taking your um, turbine to service more frequently. You don't want that. So what we can do is we can actually uh, monitor the um, vibration levels, say every five hour intervals. So if we do that, um, we measure the vibration level from day one when the, the turbine is brand new. So that's pretty much our baseline. And then we'll measure um, the vibration levels every five um, hour intervals. So five hours, 10 hours, 15, 20, um, and 25 is essentially ready for service. So as you see that um, at the 10 hour mark, let's say for example, we get a defect and then the vibration levels start to creep up at the 15 hour and then at 20 hour it jumps up quite considerably. At that point there we start thinking well hang on there's something strange going on here I think the bearing is on its way out oh and by the way I can actually feel the bearing um, feeling quite rough and I can actually hear a, a whining or whistling noise when it cools down. So you know that something's going on there. So you might want to contact your service agent and actually discover, discuss that with them, um, whether or not you need to return it early or not. Obviously at the 25 hour mark, that's due for service, so you return it anyway, okay. So this is just a way of how you can use TurboScan to um, monitor the health of your turbine and identify you know, whether or not an early failure is starting to occur. So if an early failure does occur, this curve will actually sit more towards the left-hand side. So it might peak here rather than out there. In that case, you want to call your service agent and um, get your turbine um, you know, inspected. 